Today is February the 24th, 2020. I am Julie Hankinson, and this is the view out my window. I am living in Japan, and for this reason, I was not aware that in the U.S. our health system um, was not coming up to speed to um, take care of the COVID-19 virus in as forthcoming a way as it should have. I knew that there would be um, failures, but I had not realized that it was so astronomical. Uh, my daughter shared with me today that in Florida they were charging $1,000 per test for the COVID-19 virus and that this was not covered by insurance. Um, and I had wondered, you know, a few days ago why we in the United States were not showing more cases uh, of more infection for the COVID-19, the coronavirus. And if you're looking to go to the hospital and pay a thousand dollars just to have a test done, then you're looking at several thousand dollars a day to be um, um, admitted to a hospital and your insurance is not going to cover it, I would actually think that more people would want to have this classified as pneumonia rather than the COVID-19 in order to have their insurance pay for it, in which case we are underreporting the cases of the COVID-19 virus in the United States because of the faulty mechanism that is currently being displayed in its full glaring um, horror status that we have occurring at this moment. We do not have a way for people to be tested and to be cared for. We have cities that are forcing other cities to take the impact because they don't want to deal with the fallout of coronavirus. Now, I understand the fear. I totally understand the fear. I am in Japan right now. I have been to Korea, not recently, thank goodness, because boy, that the way it's taken off right now is even scaring the heck out of me and everybody else around us. It is just, um, just exploding like a bomb went off. The cases and... Um, and the death count is just going crazy in um, South Korea, in Italy. The shop shelves are just completely bare because people realize if they want to avoid infection, they have got to shelter in place. They have got to have the supplies for 30 days to shelter in place because now China is showing that it can take, the incubation period can be up to 27 days. Now, I don't want it to seem like I'm fear-mongering here. I am, however, hopefully pointing out a fault in our healthcare system, which may be highlighting the lack of confirmed cases that we are showing in the United States. 
And this is a problem that our government is going to have to face and deal with because the common person cannot afford to deal with the monumental medical bills that will occur whenever someone is infected by the COVID-19 virus. And if you have just one person, that's enough to bankrupt you. But imagine if your whole family is hit with this infection. Now, I hope that every one of us dodges a bullet on this one and that we really do not, any of us, become infected. But one of the things that you can do is to prepare for yourself and your family to self-isolate, to self-contain, to separate yourself from large groupings, large uh, gatherings. I realize we all have to go to work because we have to, you know, pay the bills. And, but that doesn't mean that you have to go out and party or go to the local bar or go to a music venue um, or any of the other numerous manifestations of the large gatherings, uh, going to the cinema. Um, you know, I know we have some good movies coming up, but um, we might just have to delay that gratification there in order to protect ourselves a little bit. Um, so I, again, thoroughly encourage everyone to avoid large gatherings. And please remember to wash your hands frequently, at least 20 seconds. Um, do you soap? I'm just still appalled at how many people I see go into a bathroom and then go out and they're not washing their hands. Uh, that seems to me the most basic hygiene. Please wash your hands, avoid large gatherings, and exert a monochrome of common sense because until we have a national emergency declared, we are going to be, all of us, I think, in a hurting situation whenever we get sick and we have to go to the hospital. And this situation is just quickly spiraling downhill and I don't want that downward spiral to take you. So please take the time to move forward with caution and set yourself up to be a survivor and give yourself time to take advantage of the opportunities which will occur in the upcoming days and months and, and years that this black swan, this economic and medical crisis will cause because our government is responding, but I do not believe it is prepared as it thinks, as is evidenced by cities turning away, containment, um, you know, areas, charging a thousand dollars for a kit to um, the lab test to check for the coronavirus. Uh, and then the insurance, our insurance companies that we pay premiums to not covering this new basic necessity. So your tweak for the day, your recalibration, your up level is just to remember to wash your hands 
and to buy a few extra canned goods, foods that you and your family like to eat. Also, plenty of toilet paper and make sure you have cat litter and dog food, you know, whatever it takes to uh, care for your animals because, you know, it's one thing for you to be hungry, but when they're looking at you with those little innocent eyes and you're going, oh darn, I forgot the cat food, um, you're going to go out there and expose yourself to get that cat food or that dog food because they're dependent on you. And I don't want you to put yourself in that kind of situation. So please prepare now. Have what you need, the medicines you need, your family needs, your food for 30 days, and please don't go into any large gatherings because that is how the incidents in South Korea happened. We had one super spreader and she infected over a thousand people. I know, well, it was because she infected people, then they infected people, you know, you know how it is. It's not like she personally infected a thousand. So let's be clarified. I don't want you to say, oh, you're, you know, spreading ridiculous rumors here. But I believe the count was that she personally infected 45 people and then they um, did infect others. So please, um, you know, take care of yourselves. And if you do nothing else, please remember to wash your hands well and to practice some basic hygiene here. All right, take care of yourselves and I'll talk with you all tomorrow and I wish you all the best. Good night.